and hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm smart, and I'm going to another brand new video for tutorials with GS, and today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at OBS and how to use it for streaming on any streaming service you'd like to use. There have been several people in the original OBS video that I had made asking for this video, so here it is. Uh, just be aware this is not showing you how to use OBS. I'm not going to go over how to set up scenes and how to set up, uh, you know, different uh, sources and, you know, how to set overlays up. I have made a video on that already, and it's in my video on how to use OBS for recording videos for YouTube. Now, you don't need to watch that entire video. Just watch the first half of that video because I do go over for that first half on how to use the actual software. If you want to watch the whole video, though, I do teach you how to use it for recording regular videos so, you don't, so they get saved to your computer instead of streaming. So watch that. But this video is strictly going to be going over the settings you need for streaming, how to start streaming very quickly. It's going to be a fairly quick tutorial. I know there are several tutorials out there that take a very long time to explain it, and I don't really know why it takes so long to explain it because it's very simple, actually. Now, there's two sites you're going to need. If you're going to be using Twitch, which I assume most of you are, there are other services available, such as YouTube Gaming, which is also a popular streaming software. I mean, streaming service. However, if you don't have a very good computer, if you don't have a super high internet upload speed, uh, it's probably going to buffer a lot for you. So Twitch is the best option for you, uh, mainly because I don't have a, I don't have that great internet. I don't have that great of a computer, and I can stream. So if I can stream, I'm pretty sure a good number of you can stream. Now you're going to need to go to this link right here, twitch.tv slash uh, your username slash dashboard slash stream key. Uh, you can also get there by clicking your username at the top here, clicking dashboard, and then click stream key. You will need this. The other thing I suggest you go to is to this site right here. I will leave both of these links in the description here. And you want to click begin test here. And this will test your download and upload speed, which is what you will need. Now we're going to minimize this real quick. And uh, yeah, so for settings, we're going to head into that real quick. A profile, you can set up a profile if you want. However, not really required. Now for these settings here, I have, I'm using OBS right now to record. So these are my recording settings. So what I've done is I've created a paint document here where I have all my settings pasted. So we're going to go over these real quick. So for the first, for the first uh, piece right here, here are your, in, your encoding settings. Now you want to make sure you have CBR selected and you want to make sure you have this in the right here selected. Now the most important thing in this entire window is uh, let me not use that the most important thing in this entire window is this right here your bit rate now your bit rate determines how much data you're going to upload to twitch or your streaming service the higher your bit rate is the higher your quality of your stream that doesn't mean you're gonna be lagging that doesn't mean you're going to be losing frames. It simply means at what quality your video is going to be viewable. If you have if you have it set to 2000 or 2500, you're probably going to be streaming at 720p. Uh, 2000 is probably a little lower, but 2500 is about 720p. If you bump it to 3000 or 3500, you're going to go to about 1080p. I would not recommend going higher than 4,000 because one, people are going to have a hard time downloading that much data anyway. And two, um, it's completely unnecessary because 3,500 is 1080p already. So don't put more bitrate if you don't need it. So anywhere from 2,000 to 3,500 is good. If you can get to 3,500, your stream will look amazing. But uh, keeping at 2000 is just fine too. You'll run close to 720p, which is still watchable. Uh, at the bottom here, you have your audio. Not really too important. You could just copy these settings if you want. Now, this website here will tell you how high you can set your bitrate. As you can see, my download speed is at 28 uh, Mbps. However, your download speed isn't very important. What is important is your upload speed. I'm uploading at 6.0 Mbps. So... I can probably handle having a 3000 um, a 3000 bitrate for my OBS. If you're sitting at 3.0 Mbps, don't even bother setting at 3000 because you're going to need some of your bitrate 
to play your game. You're gonna need some of your bitrate if you're in a Skype call. You're gonna need some of your bitrate for Google. You're gonna need some of your bitrate for everything. So my best, my best uh, advice to you is if you have say six, uh, cut that, cut that by a quarter, and that's the maximum you can have. So my maximum I can have is probably gonna be like four. I can probably set my maximum to about four, so I have two uh, remaining for like my game and my my Google Chrome. But to be safe, only do about half of this. Half of this is probably the maximum you're going to be able to go. So I can, I can probably only go to three. So just half of this, and that's probably your max bit rate you can use. However, uh, I still don't recommend you going above 3,500 because it, it really isn't worth it. And it's not going to make that huge of a difference. And there will be some people who will have trouble downloading your stream and streaming it because you have such a high bit rate. So this is just this is just to make sure that you can have 3000. If you have say 4, if you only have 4.0, then only put 2 cuz you're not going to be able to run 3. Next, we have your broadcast settings. Now, make sure you have your mood set to live stream, make sure you have your streaming service set to Twitch or to YouTube gaming. This will be a drop down menu. It will give you all the services. And then if you're using Twitch, you can pick your uh, your 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 server. You want to pick the closest one to you. Uh, East Miami, Florida happens to be the closest one to me, so I've selected that one. Uh, there's several servers there. Just pick the one that's closest to you. Now your stream key. Here is where you need to go to your Twitch website, which is right here, and you need to click stream key, click show key, and then click understand. As soon as you click I understand. It will give you your stream key. Don't share it with anyone. Don't paste it anywhere. Don't show anyone. Don't open it on stream. Keep it secret. Keep it private. Don't let anyone see it. If you keep, if you give someone that key, they can stream, basically on your channel. So, don't do it because you'll get screwed. If somebody does happen to see it though, you can always reset it. When you click on understand at the bottom, it'll say reset key. So you can always reset it if somebody does find out. You're gonna need to copy that key into here this is where your key just copy and paste it it should be around this long after that the rest of these settings don't really matter um if you're if you if you want to save your recordings you can set it to dot mp4 like i did right here for file path uh, you can select a directory you want to save it in and make sure you put dot mp4 at the end so that it's saving it as a dot mp4 you can record and stream at the exact same time so while you're streaming, you can also save that recording uh, to your hard drive so you have your stream available. So you can do that. Change that if you want to do that. And aside from that, everything else is it doesn't really matter. You can click auto reconnect. It'll reconnect if you end up getting disconnected. But everything here is, is really up to your preference and not really required at all. Next, we have video. Now here you want to pick your video card. And here you want to make sure that you select, you type in your own dimensions. Now, if you, do, if you happen to have, you know, a 1080p monitor or 720p monitor, they'll probably have uh, the resolution in the drop-down menu here. Otherwise, just type it in. Type it in here and click custom, type your resolution in, and then uh, make sure you select none here and set your frames to 30 or to 60 or whatever you want. Um, try, to pick, try to make sure that your resolution is correct because if your resolution is not correct, or if you're, if, I know a lot of you want to have a 1080p resolution. Believe me, I don't have a 1080p monitor. I have a 1366 by 768. So I tried to upscale it. I tried to pick, I tried to type in 1080, 1080 by, I mean 1920 by 1080. I tried like upscaling my stream, but it doesn't work like that. It's not going to work like that. So you have to type in your exact resolution. If you don't have a 1080p monitor, it's not going to give you a 1080p stream. So don't even try doing that because I've already tried to do it myself. So just type in your type in your resolution here, and then make sure you press none here, because you don't want to downscale it and uh, your FPS obviously. And that's pretty much that's everything here. Nothing really else is worth mentioning here. And lastly, you have your audio. Now you can um, you can pick your own microphone if you want, or you can pick default. If you're gonna keep this to at default, make sure that at the bottom here in your audio devices. Make sure you have your microphone set to the default. Right now, I have my Blue Yeti as the... Actually, I have my... 
Oh, we're recording. Here we go. I have my Blue Yeti set to my default, as you can see, default device. So OBS will use that as a default device. Make sure you have that set to default if you will be using default for both of these. Otherwise, you can just select your microphone there. And everything else pretty much is, um, is you can just play around with. Nothing else is really here important. So those are all your settings. After you have your settings complete, you can go ahead and head over to your channel page. And then what you can do is uh, click uh, preview stream. Right here is preview stream. And it will basically preview your stream. You can also click start streaming up here. And it will basically start streaming on Twitch here. Um, obviously, I can't do it right now for you because I'm using OBS to record. At the same time, you can also click start recording, start streaming, and start recording at the same time. That way you'll stream and you'll save your recording to your hard drive. And then you can, stop, you can stop recording and only stream if you want. You don't need to record at the same time. It allows you to only stream and not record. It's up to you. But those are pretty much all the settings. If you have any questions or any problems you run into, leave a comment down below. I'll definitely answer any questions you have. Uh, if you're running into lag issues, if you're running into uh, FPS drops, if you're running into people are complaining they need to buffer your video, I will make a separate video on that probably tomorrow or in two days explaining how you can decrease your lag, how you can decrease or increase your FPS, and how you can decrease the buffering time from your audience if that's an issue that you're facing. Uh, however, I don't want to include it in this video because some people may have no problems with that, so there's no point in making the video longer if this is all you're here for. So just try it out, see if it works. If you run into problems, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'll be answering questions, and I will create another video on specific settings, how to improve your settings, how to optimize your settings. And we'll also go over, we will also go over this little advanced section here because there are some important stuff here in this advanced section. I'll go over that as well in another video too. In the same video, basically, that I'm going over lag and all that other crap. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Plenty of uh, other tutorials on the channel, such as video editing tutorials, design tutorials, software tutorials, all that cool stuff. Uh, if you are streaming, maybe you want to create some overlays. I have some tutorials on design and stuff in Photoshop and GIMP. Uh, so you can definitely subscribe if you like. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned from this video, if you like this video, you can always donate a dollar to my Patreon. All you got to do is click the card in the top right corner of the screen, and I'll bring you to the page. I also have a gaming channel, a tutorials channel, which is this one right here, an advice channel, a music channel, and a vlogging channel. You can check those out. And links are in the description, as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much this video. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Just Metal Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.